Hi there, in this video I'm here to show you how to turn on assistive touch on your iPhone. What you want to do is tap on your settings. Then once you do that, you come to this center here. You want to scroll down and go where it says accessibility over here. You tap accessibility, then you scroll up, then you tap where it says touch right here. You tap on it, then you tap on assistive touch because it's off right now. Then you tap on it. After you tap on it, tap on assistive touch and then this button will start to appear. Ignore this button. It's a mouse that I am using so that I can actually show you what I'm doing. You can also use assistive touch to turn on your mouse, which I do have a video of on the channel. It's very quick and short if you want to know how to connect your mouse to the phone. So the first thing that you see is all these options. You can customize top level menu, single tap, double tap, long press, and then the idle opacity here is when you can actually change the opacity of the tab itself of this button over here which you can move to any part of your screen and it does that so if you want it to be overly visible like that you can put it to 99% or you can change it all the way up until it's almost invisible depending on what you are doing so that it doesn't interrupt you so once you do that you want to go back and tap on it and these are the options that you get you get the notification center device custom Siri home and control center so if you press control center it's going to open the control center for you without you having to swipe up and down and then if you come back if you want to go to home you just tap on home just like that and it takes you back home and if you want to keep on using it just like this you can go on custom and you can add any options that you want pinch long press double tap hold and drag and if you want to add another option of how you want to do specific gestures you can also add and it adds with dots so that when you are doing something you can connect and do whatever you want to so that that gesture will now signify something else if you want to access home or any other thing using the touch buttons you can activate with the gesture and if you want to create a gesture you go there and if you want to add devices you can perform touch gestures you can you can also add a game controller using assistive touch just like i'm using the mouse right now and you can do that and you can also do confirmations of anything that you purchase using face id or anything with the confirm assistive touch because usually you would double tap on this button on the side of the phone so if you want to have that on you can definitely do that going back to this button over here you can go into the specific things that are in there if you press device you can access lock screen rotate screen volume up volume down without having to touch the phone at all you're just doing it manually just using your finger you can mute the phone if you want more options press here where it says more and you can get app switcher you can access sos you can restart your phone you can add more gestures reachability shake if you if you want to take a screenshot you just press on it and then it takes a screenshot without you having to click here and here on the phone. So this helps you so that you can do more without touching the buttons on the phone, but actually just using the virtual assistance like it is there. If you want more options on this part of the devices, you can come down here to customize top level menu. So these are the options that you are seeing if you press this button. So the device custom notification center, Siri home control center. You can add another button by coming here, another icon. Just press this plus button over here. And once you tap on it, you can add anything that you want. If you want to add the camera there, you just press the camera and you press done. And then now all the icons that are showing, you now have access to the camera, notification center, custom, Siri, and all other things. So if you want to add more, or if you have something that you want to remove that you don't need here, you can definitely do that. Or you can reset everything and put whatever that you want as custom as well. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I do respond. Anything that you want to suggest about this video, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.